and in this video uh, we are going to learn how to dynamically create angular 2 components so let's just do that so instead of adding uh, this component manually over here we are going to add this uh, from our post container component dynamically uh, also i'm just going to uh, clean this up from the last last video and just going to remove all this okay so that we start from the base just going to remove this guy okay all right so i'll just go back to the html again and you can see okay i'm just going to remove this input as well and i'm going to remove this okay so now you can see uh, the html it's just uh, bare minimum uh, the only thing which we have is post container and below post container we want to add single post uh, component dynamically okay so to do that uh, we are going to use uh, another lifecycle method called uh, ng after content in it okay so let's just implement that okay so ng after uh, content in it has a lifecycle method called ng after content in it so basically uh, ng after content in it is uh, called after a directive content has been fully initialized okay so um, we're going to load our uh, single uh, post container inside a div and i'm going to call this as hash container just a reference uh, go back to the post container and this time uh, instead of using view child so instead of uh, using at view child uh, so we are not just going to add it like this we are going to uh, load it in a different way so we want uh, view container reference instead of the native element uh, so to do that we are going to tell view child to load container and read and read read it as view container reference okay uh, which methods uh, which like view container reference method allows us to use uh, create component method okay so to do that so let's just add uh, the container use the container so this container uh, uh, I'm so sorry. I forgot to add it over here. Oh, by the way, uh, this dot container uh, has a method called create component, but uh, create component uh, needs uh, to pass uh, a component factory, <laughs> and we'll see that how to add a component factory. So. As you can see, uh, my web webstorm is already notifying me that. Okay, so let's just do that. Uh, to load a uh, component factory, we'll need to add uh, a resolver. So resolver is something like this. Inside the constructor, I'll just uh, give it a space. So resolver needs a component factory resolver. I'm going just going to hit uh, Alt Enter so that my WebStorm will add that. Component factory resolver has a method uh, which basically loads a component. And uh, let's just add this. So I'm just uh, going to add it over here. This dot resolver dot resolve component factory and uh, we'll need to uh, pass the component over here uh, the component name is uh, single post single post component uh, okay this is getting big so let's just uh, save this in a variable i'm going to save this in a constant and let's just name it uh, single uh, post factory okay and just pass it over here 
Okay, let's see if it works. I'm reloading this. Okay, it's not working. Let's see uh, if there are any errors. Just go to the console. Okay, so there is an error. So error states uh, that no component factory found a single post component. You need to add it in uh, ng module entry components. So what is entry components? Uh, so basically, uh, we're trying to load a single post uh, component. Uh, I'll just go to the module first. We're trying to load single post component, which is under, which is added under declarations. But uh, to use, uh, to load a single post component dynamically, we need to add it under entry, entry components. Okay. So entry component uh, helps us uh, add uh, dynamically added components. Uh, so basically entry component specifies a list of components that should be compiled when the module is defined, which will uh, store, uh, so basically which will store component factory resolver inside this. And from component factory resolver, we can find our uh, components to be added dynamically. I'm just going to copy it and paste it here. Okay, let's just go back to our uh, post container component. Okay, and you can see it's already working over here, perfectly fine. But <laughs> there is a problem now. Uh, it's not a problem, basically. Uh, uh, if you go back uh, to single post, hmm, single post component, uh, you can see there is a post title. I need to uh, change the value of this guy. Okay, I'm just going to delete this and go to this HTML and add a span tag over here and just pass it here. Okay, uh, you can see there is nothing over here right now. I'm going to get a, give it a default value over here and just say default title. Okay. It should load over, over here. But now, since I'm loading this single post uh, component dynamically, I need to change the value of this title. So to do that, uh, oh, by the way, you can, if I duplicate this, uh, you can see I'm going to add uh, components over here three times. Uh, so let's just change the title of the last guy. Uh, to do that, uh, I'll need to store this as a reference. Uh, I'm going to uh, store this inside a constant. And uh, let's just call this as uh, single post reference. Okay. And single post reference uh, allows us to have use uh, a method called instance. And instance, and we need to change the post title. That's it. So just set the post title to whatever you want. So I'm going to say um, dynamic. Uh, factory title and it should uh, be working fine all right so it works fine so now you know uh, how to create uh, dynamic uh, <laughs> components so in the next video uh, we are going to resume uh, our service so see you in the next video Thank you and don't forget to subscribe and like to my videos. Yeah, it will boost my confidence to add more and more videos. Thank you.